Hello everyone, just a quick little update. I thought I'd make a video this time instead of emails. I've been sending a lot of text emails lately, so I thought I'd just change it up a little bit. First thing, Italian dinner. We have got to have a presence from our youth at church on Sunday mornings to sell tickets and to really promote this Italian dinner. Um, I have done a lot of publicity for it. I've got it in the newsflash, I've got it in the Tower Tidings. Um, it's in the bulletin, we've mentioned it um, at the worship service times, at the Lenten soup suppers. So now I really need the youth to come to church and step up and start selling tickets. Um, we are going to sell them this Sunday. Italian dinner is in two weeks, April 2nd, which is about two weeks. So we have two Sundays. We have this Sunday and then the 27th to sell tickets before the event, which is Saturday, April 2nd. So that's only two Sundays to sell tickets. Um, because it's carry out, they don't actually have to have a ticket, um, but so, so that we can prepare and get the food that we need made and done, um, I would love to have tickets sold. Um, this can also be a community outreach event. We can sell tickets to the community because it's all takeout. Um, so we can do all kinds of different things. I'm gonna set up a Facebook post and we have online a way to pay online um, so that they so that community members can buy tickets online and um, purchase pay for them online and then come so that hopefully we can you know start to get out into the community a little bit and get our youth recognized for all of the great things that they do. So um, if you are able to be there this Sunday, um, we could sell them right after the nine o'clock service before Sunday school and right before the 1045 service after Sunday school and after the 1045 service if we wanted to. So um, if you could be there, great. Um, I appreciate all the support and help that we can get. Um, the food. So I think in years past we've purchased the noodles and the sauce and the meat was donated by somebody um, and then the desserts were all made. And I think the mint brownies are such a hit that if we do the mint brownies, we could just do the mint brownie. That's such a hit. People look forward to that and that's something simple that we can just make and then it's just done and it's mint brownies. Thank you to the Miller family. Um, so desserts we're going to have to make. The rest of it we can purchase. If you'd be willing to purchase some spaghetti or sauce or sausage, um, we then we have salad and bread as well. Um, if you would be willing to purchase any of that as a donation, that would be great. Let me know. If not, we'll go ahead and um, purchase that out of our funds. Um, cookies. So we, we, a couple families had talked to me about helping, you know, the families in the Ukraine and, and the Ukrainian refugees and how can we really help. And right now what they need and the easiest thing for us to do and the best thing for us to do is give them financial support. And I know that as a young youth or young child, um, that sometimes is, you don't see where your money goes. You don't, you don't really understand what's happening with it. So we were trying to come up with some tangible things that the youth and the families could do to raise money so that they felt like they were actually doing something. And then we could give, send the money to Presbyterian Disaster Assistance and then they will get the money to where it needs to be. So we came up with the idea of cookies and we would provide all the cookies for the Lenten soup suppers. Um, this isn't a bake sale, just they have our normal Lenten soup suppers is soup, bread, and cookies. And so instead of asking the groups to provide the cookies, the youth and families of, of First Presbyterian Church are providing the cookies. And it takes about two or three families a week to make one batch of cookies. And that's good. That's all that is needed. And then they just give donations. So we've, uh, we get about $150 each for the first two nights we've had. So we've got about $300 already from just two nights um, of doing that. But I need cookie bakers. Um, the Backstrom family and the Dunlap family and a couple other teachers um, have been making the cookies. And it would be really great if we could have a support from a larger, broader support from, the, um, you know, greater families in our church um, so if you would be willing to make cookies and you can make them and bring them on Sunday and we can throw them in the freezer and pull them out on Wednesday. You can bring them anytime during the week and we can put them in the freezer. Um, we'll just mark them clearly so that we know what they're used for. So if you're willing to make cookies for our Lenten soup suppers, that would be great. And also come to our Lenten soup suppers. If you can't make cookies, I understand. Brownies, that's great too. But this Lenten soup suppers are an hour on Wednesday nights where we fellowship. It's a great intergenerational 
time. We've had about 45 to 50 people each night. Um, great soup and bread. You don't have to cook. You just show up and have some bread and fellowship and soup. And then there's about 20 minutes of worship in brew hall right at your table. So come as you are, straight from practice, or maybe you have to go to practice, or straight from work, or wherever it is. Um, it's just a great way to celebrate Lent together um, and kind of mix intergenerationally since some things have changed um, in our church. March 27th and April 3rd are going to be our conversation circles that we've been talking about. Um, set members of session and David have um, acquired a moderator who is going to come and kind of help facilitate this, these conversations. Um, you should have received a survey in the mail as well as an email with a link that you could do it digitally. That link has also been in the news flash the past couple weeks. Um, and I think Monday is the deadline for that uh, survey link. So if you could fill that survey out and, and really give your honest feedback, it can be anonymous when you send the survey in. It, there's no email address linked to it, so they don't know where it's coming from. The very first line says to put your name in, and that's an optional thing. Um, so if you, you know, if you want to be anonymous, that's fine. We just really want the, um, you know, we want to know what you're thinking, um, what concerns you might have, what things you think are going great, um, what changes you see could be made. Um, just be honest and, and um, clear about what, what, you, what direction you want to see your church go in the coming months. So I'm hoping that between these two conversations on the 27th and April 3rd, which will happen during the Sunday school hour, in Brew Hall, um, I'm hoping that that'll give us some better understanding of a direction to take, for me personally, programmatically into the fall. Um, just as the church is changing and as things are changing, what direction do we want to take? How will Sunday school look? What's some extra programming that we can do? How do we get out into the community better? What kind of COVID protocols do we need to drop and be more welcoming? Or what protocols do we need to add? Whatever. We just need to really know the direction that the church wants to go in. Um, so fill out the survey and plan to attend March 27th and April 3rd. On the 27th, um, the facilitator, the moderator that they have hired to come in to help is also going to be preaching. So she's going to kind of introduce what's happening at the nine o'clock service. It won't be a full sermon, you know, 15 minute time like, like it would be at the 1045 service. She'll do the Sunday school hour, help facilitate that. And then during the 1045 sermon time, she will also be speaking. So um, that on the 27th will be a great time to spend a good three, four hours from 9 to 11.30 when we're finished, um, listening to her and being guided by her um, and some things to think about. And then April 3rd, she will just be doing the Sunday School Hour. Uh, she won't be doing anything at the 9 o'clock or 10.45 service. I, I'm imagining she will be there the whole time, but she won't be speaking during those times. So please plan to attend. And, and if you have something that you want said aloud in front of people, but you aren't comfortable saying it, whether it's good or bad, and you would like me to say something anonymously on your behalf, um, or ask a question, or bring up a comment, or anything, let me know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to have people's voices heard. Um, we just want to make sure that everybody feels that they have a place, whether it's through the survey um, and I'm going to ask, but I think that the survey results will be um, published for everybody to kind of see and read through. I know at least session and members of staff and leadership will be able to see them. So, so anyway, March 27th, April 3rd, very important Sundays. This Sunday, uh, March 20th, is our Mr. Rogers intergenerational time during the Sunday school hour. Um, it's just going to be a fun time to look at some old clips of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood TV show, um, think about how we can put that into our lives right now and be a welcoming, more inclusive church and get out in our community and neighborhood and what happens when conflicts arise and, and things. So it's going to be a fun intergenerational time together. So please plan. It's not intergenerational if it's only one generation. So please plan to come this Sunday, uh, 9.30 time for that. Um, and I think that is everything. So Italian dinner um, I'm really going to need the youth to come. We've had a great little crowd of some of some kids that have been coming. Of course, our Sunday Sextons are regulars, um, but we really hope to really engage with the youth in these next couple weeks 
um, and have them engage with the congregation. So uh, please plan to attend Sunday school these next few weeks and help sell tickets and get ready for Italian dinner. I'm only one person. I can't do all of it. Um, and then March 27th, April 3rd, fill out your survey, send that back in. Um, this Sunday, March 20th, is our Mr. Rogers Neighborhood um, Intergenerational Sunday School Time with cookies. And then your cookies. Please bake cookies and bring them to our Lenten soup suppers so that we can um, help those in need in the Ukraine. So any questions, let me know. Have a great weekend.